Miles Michaelis has gone toe to toe with some of the best. Miles coming off a strong start last time, his seventh start of the season. So Zach Neto leads off. And we are underway. First pitch swing hit toward right. Newt Bar in the shadows handles that. One pitch and one out gets things started in St. Louis tonight. Here's Mike Trout. Trout was hitless last night. Seven homers, 18 driven in for him. And he got him to chase. That's refreshing. Two up, two down for Michaelis. Listen to the applause for Shohei Otani from the Cardinals fans. And the first pitch on the ground is going to be a base hit to right. So Otani wastes no time. He's aboard in front of Anthony Rendon. Here's a 3 2 pitch. Otani takes off. And that one is skied into shallow center. Out goes Donovan. Carlson will join. Edmund is there too. And Miles Michaelis, a scoreless first inning. Now the Redbirds batsmen go to work against Shohei Otani at home. This is the number one reason why they changed the schedule and gave interleague play more of a push so that players like this can be showcased in all the ballparks more often. Yeah, Wayne, how often do you see a visiting player get a round of cheers when he came to the plate? Obviously going to do on the mound. And a tip of the cap from his WBC teammate Lars Nootbaar, who leads off for the Cardinals here in the home first. Swing and a miss. Otani strikes out his new best bud. Nootbaar goes down for the first down. Goldie behind, one ball, two strikes. And look at that ball explode. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. That thing broke about three feet. Nolan Gorman, who is batting 267 on the year, six home runs for him. On low, tie in the air, deep right center field. At the track, at the wall, he ambushed him. one nothing Cardinals lead. That'll do it right there. First pitch, sinker, elevated, belt high, and Gorman shows off the power. His seventh home run of the year, and a huge one here to give the Cardinals a little momentum against one of the best pitchers in the game. Nice work there by Gorman. Now Wilson Contreras will be the batter. That's a warning there for allowing him to get in the batter's box. We saw that all last night with Contreras. It happened at least twice in yeah. the game yesterday with Wilson Contreras. You know, Contreras kind of just wanders around the batter's box in a way that he's in the box but he's not really looking at the pitcher and it certainly seems like that is something that he is purposely doing to mess with the pitcher's timing. Yeah, he's trying to aggravate him a little bit too. More yeah there you go with that swing and miss was not real happy with him. <laughs> yeah, after all that he yeah. strikes about three strikeouts but a home run allowed and it's one nothing St. Louis. Brandon Drury is the batter. He was one for four last night. High fly ball deep out there in left field, and that ball is gone. Brandon Drury has connected. That's his sixth home run of the season, and just like that, the Angels have tied up the game at one. And all it is for Otani is five outs, all via strikeout. Cardinals were given a gift in this inning on a Drury error and a couple of wild pitches. Had a runner standing at third with nobody out. Now we're sitting here with two outs. Same runner, Alec Burleson, standing there. Swing and a miss. Edmund strikes out. A swing and a miss. Otani strikes out the side again. Cardinals and Angels are tied at one. So they're at the corners for Otani, who singled on the first pitch he saw. Hard hit in the right field, a base hit. The Angels take the lead as Wallach scores, and it's an RBI single for the starting pitcher. Here's Hunter Renfro with an RBI chance. Two outs, two men on. Bounce down the line, going to be a tough play even for Arenado. Renfro is safe. A run scores as Trout comes home, and the Angels take a 3-1 to one lead on an infield hit. Showtime indeed here in St. Louis tonight. As Otani has two hits in an RBI. He has six strikeouts on the mound. Newbar strikes oh, out. Splintered. That is seven strikeouts for Shohei Otani and four in a row. So Goldie is the runner, and it's Gorman at the plate. And that's in the dirt. Goldie got a good secondary jump, but he's going to be thrown out. So Goldschmidt tried to move up on a ball in the dirt to stay out of the double play. Instead, he's thrown out. Two outs in the inning. That'll be the first out of the ball game that's not recorded via the strikeout. That's a good pitch. There's strike three called. It is the eighth strikeout for Shohei Otani. He's only been pitching for three innings, and he's got a three-to-one lead. Nolan Arenado leads off. Hammered down the line. That one's fair. It's off the chalk. And, man, that's got to feel good for Nolan Arenado. That's about the hardest. He's hit a ball in two weeks, and it was a missile off Otani. And the tying run comes to the plate, and now another chance to get something done on Otani. Driven down the right field line. That's going to be trouble if it's fair. That ball's in the corner. That ball's off the wall. Arenado will score. Contreras with a double, and it's a one-run game.
Dylan Carlson put up a big fight. 8 9 pitch at bat before striking out. In the air towards center. Trout retreating to the warning track. Still going at the wall. It carries out. A home run for Carlson. And just like that, the Cardinals are back in front. And now Shohei, one strike away from his 500th strikeout. He went. And that is strikeout number 500 for Otani. And he ties a career high. That's his 13th strikeout tonight in St. Louis. Giovanni Gallegos will come on and try to get the final three outs. The Cardinals have not had a save in their last 16 days. And Gallegos will have the nine, one, and two hitters for the Angels, which means Mike Trout is due third. And he drives this ball to right center field. This is deep. New Bar's going to watch it go. The game is tied. Jake Lamb delivers. A game tying pinch hit home run. And it's four to four here in the top of the ninth. Here's Trout. Otani's next. Uh oh. Trout puts the Angels in front. Mike Trout has given the Angels the lead. Two home runs in the top of the ninth. And the Angels have stolen back to take a 5 4 lead in St. Louis. Here's Otani, two out of four tonight. Now Otani drills wow. one to the gap in left center field. That's going to get down for extra bases. Bouncing off the wall, it's a double for Shohei. And the Angels are roasting Gallegos here in the ninth. And the fans are not happy. Three extra base hits in the ninth for the Angels. But now you got to keep them with a one run lead. There's a bullet, and Otani will score to make it six to four. It's an insurance run off the bat of Rendon. It's a three-run ninth inning. And as the boos drown the Cardinals, the Angels have a 6-4 lead. This one is a real gut check. John, the Cardinals, of course, have one more out left, but things turned on a dime here. What looked very much like a Cardinal victory, a much-needed Cardinal victory against one of the best starters in baseball in Otani. Now the Cardinals down to their last out. Edmund loops one to left. Here comes Taylor Ward. Say goodnight to the Cardinals. The Angels storm back in the ninth inning. They get a highlight of a victory at Bush Stadium. A three-run top of the ninth and a cascade of boos here in St. Louis, the likes of which are rarely heard directed toward the Cardinals as the Angels have won the first two games of this series and Gooby tonight in improbable fashion.